Zen Sal, you attention nobody. Welcome, welcome back to another anime review. We are back and we are going back down memory lane into some animes I have been checking out that I remember watching way back in my youth, back in the day. And today we are going to be doing a whole series review of Full Metal Panic for Mofu, which is, of course, well, kind of the outlier in Full Metal Panic, I get Saga, Story Arc type of deal. So this series is very much standalone, very much not have anything to do with anything, and honestly being a straight up comedy, which is a little odd, especially when you watch the full regular series of Full Metal Panic, which is much more the mecha capillacy ish type of show. Uh, which is, by the way, good. Go check it all out. All of it is available over on Funimation at least. Uh, and Fumofu is as well. And honestly, it's been a long time. A lot of time I watched Fumofu was probably like 2005-ish, 2004-ish. Uh, like, roughly in the time period when it came out, at least in the States. And now, going back to it so many years later... I will really worry you are not going to hold up since it is a comedy and we all know how comedies can be very hit or miss especially as they get older and older and honestly I gotta say for, uh, for Mofu 100% still holds up don't get me wrong there's one or two episodes that are a little like dragging in some ways but for the most part the whole series holds up great so for anyone that's not aware of Full Metal Panic or for Mofu of course the story of this is, of course, a main character, uh, Soke Sagwa, a, a special force, kind of, I, I don't want to say dumb, but pretty much a character that have only known the battlefield his whole life. So he don't exactly understand how people work or how situations work outside of a war zone. It pretty much hit dick. So he comes to court very much at the dumb meet with like the Drake Lakes uh, paranoia character and it him being chored into a whole bunch of situations that he is not mentally able to comprehend or deal with and most of the comedic come from that of course with him being stuck in a high school undercover as a student to protect another student of uh, Mitch Chittery who in the main series, she have a way more important role of why he protecting her. In this, it's not blamed by any means. It just literally, like, yeah, he just there, he protecting her. You gotta know what up. Since in some way, the anime do want you to have the knowledge of Full Metal Panic beforehand. Uh, especially understanding how some, uh, the character, I get, how certain moments, uh, character will actually make fun of how them character was in Full Metal Panic. But with that being said, any if it is more so on the line of if you want the original series, you can get more out of this. Uh, but with that being said, it don't go over over the line of not making an upset where you can kind of gather in what, what it was and what happening. So it actually walked that line fairly good as far being very much along the lines of let's talk about the original series, make fun of the original series without actually full on going into that to the point of needing to watch the original series. It helps, but not need it. But, the rest of the series here, it pretty much made up into two types of episodes. We have our vignettes, which is usually broken into two separate little storylines, of uh, roughly like 15-ish minutes apiece, of going over this and subject. And then you have about three-ish episodes that literally the whole episode is one storyline. And every episode is very much its own thing. Outside of one or two little callbacks that happen near the end of the series. The shenanigans we get into is making fun of movie tropes, anime tropes, making fun of the character themselves at tropes. And getting into some very odd and interesting, like, I get shenanigans. With random episode taking place of a guy dressed up as a whore trying to molest women by giving them ponytails only right along with dealing with the mafia dealing with how to get the interest of ladies interested in you right, a, right along to dealing with the whole like what it like wanting a food stand 
And it really is all over the place. Some of the situation, honestly, might not translate too well to present day elite politics standards. But if you can just put all that to the side and just set back, this is a series you can 100% just enjoy and honestly just lap of, at the authority of it all. Uh, with, of course, like I said, Sergeant Sardra being the very much straight freight not knowing what happening character, right along with Mitch Chittery being uh, the m more character along the lines of like too old for this shit type of character right along with trying to keep Sake in line and not doing anything crazy since he have a bad habit of jumping to conclusion to the point of pretty much having guns, missile, toxic devices, and all sorts of random military shenanigans all over the plate. And usually the ghoul don't always stay in one piece because of that. And most of the issues usually come from him screwing up at something. With all that being said, it like, if you are in the late, the otaku feel, now, then, doesn't matter. New O, if you roughly understand the tropes of a lot of Japanese anime, movie, and manga, this is something you're going to truly enjoy since, like I said, it literally touched on every stereotype under the sun for anime at the time. From the hot plane episode all the way to the beach, right along to like fighting for clubs, and and then you have a court, your full anime, your, your Yakuza movies, you have it all. And in return, all this is literally just fun. The, the whole series is just fun from beginning to end. It's very short with only uh, 12 episodes total. So you can get through this in roughly at 4-ish hours, give or take. And I highly recommend if you do watch it, of course, watch after the credit for the next episode summary. Since a lot of them are also jokes on top of jokes of whatever the drama they can't wait to make fun of in the next episode. And overall, it's just like a good time. Like I said, like, you might want to watch the original series beforehand, but you don't have to. Uh, especially since the original series was a full, I believe, 24, 25 episode anime. And honestly, only maybe one or two episodes might need to be watched just to understand certain character motivations and what they are being made fun of at all, like taking the characters and turning them on their heads. So, overall, Full Metal Panic for Mofu holds up. One or two episodes might drag a little bit, and some of the, some of the jokes might be very much a time and a plate type of deal. But with that being said, the jokes are not like exactly tied to a time period, so all the joke still holds up. You just might have to let a few things slide here and there, I guess. But overall, I recommend it. Go watch this. It is available right now over on Vorb and Funimation. Uh, if you don't have a free trial, I recommend getting one just to watch this. Like I say, you can watch this all in like a day if you have it one to two days. And watch your time, 100%. And if you do end up enjoying it, just a heads up going into the other series. Uh, Full Metal Panic, uh, Second Raid, and I think Victory Mission? I think with the name of the third season. Uh, just know that this is 100% out wild, the outlier the whole series of the comedy. Well, the main series, Full Metal Panic, not so much. Think of it more of light comedy with mecha drill type of deal. Uh, so just a heads up on that. But yeah, Full Metal, uh, Full Metal Panic for MoFu is worth your time. Go watch it, guys. I fully 100% recommend this.